Devon! Hey, William! OMG! Serbia's Tiana Bogisevic has revealed her song for Eurovision 2017. She's in too deep, but are we? Should we talk about it? Let's do this! of this is so dreamy. I love that kind of xylophone electro intro. It really draws me in in a dreamy but inviting way. I'm not asleep, I am awake. And then it transitions into a drum and bass chorus, very current. It feels very, yeah, very drum and bass. You know, we had Nano and Melody Festival. And With an ethnic twist. I mean, yes. you know, there's some really strong ethnic elements. Definitely. And interludes for her vocals to shine within it as well. Yes. However. You sound like me. As much as I'm loving her, I think she sells this very, very well. I think she can sing. I think she looks fantastic. I guess my concern at the moment is there are these long instrumental interludes where nothing's happening, and in those interludes, they're gonna have to do something great on stage. Stage, yeah. Because it's losing my interest at the moment. I'm with her, I'm like, yes, you slay, you go, and then the interlude comes and it loses me. Mm. But yeah, that's one of my concerns. The other thing about it is that I feel that although it's good and it's current, it also is very unoriginal. It's you know, I've heard that before, and yes, it's got a good production team behind it. It just sounds like a song. Will I remember it? It's doubtful. You know, and when I think about even Serbian entries that I didn't like, mm. Moy 3, for instance, it was memorable. You know? Yeah, Boyana Staminon have that really big chorus, like, banger, and everyone wanted to get up and dance. This doesn't have that, and it's not necessarily going for that, and that's totally fine. I think the song at times is very subtle, but sometimes when you th become too subtle, you become a little forgettable. Um, it's something about... I the think beyond subtlety is actually safe, but pretending because it yes. marries drum and bass and it puts it, you know, pulls in all these sort of ethnic sprinkles, kind of appearing to be avant-garde, but actually... Towards the end it's just boring. Uh, yeah. And I hate to say that, because the thing yeah. is, that she can sell this, and with the right staging, they can erase the boredom. I don't have any empirical data to back the... F to back the allegation that she can sell it. It's not an allegation, it's about the hope and the fact if you go onto YouTube, you can see her singing in the past, she can sing. Oh, no, she no, can she sing. can sing. I mean, there's no doubt about that. No, 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 Tiana can sing. There's, there's no doubt about that. Um, but Eurovision calls for more than just vocals. Yeah, I must say, <laughs> of the dance entries we have this year, for instance, Montenegro is a very upbeat song and it's more memorable because he's so out there. I think Macedonia is more memorable. Because it, there's something about it that's just more memorable. This, of the dance entries, is one of the weaker ones. If not the weakest. But again, we reserve the right to change our minds when she elevates the staging, because that could change everything. How many times have we been in a situation where we don't love a song, and then we see it live and we're like, oh my god, it's amazing. Oh yeah. All and the, the opposite. The fan wank early on, and then... Yeah. We expel energy. Let's just say last year at this time, Jamala was nowhere near the top 10 in the betting odds, and then she won. Oh, but she was consistently your favorite though. True. Right through, True. From, from very early on. I remember the Skype interview you did with her. Do we want to explore the running order of Serbia? Yes, she is in the first half of the second semi-final against Macedonia, Malta, the Netherlands, Denmark, Russia, Romania, Hungary, Austria, Ireland. I think Ireland is a bit forgettable. Oh, I think Ireland is very good! Yeah, well that's great. Um, I think that Austria is a fantastic song, but it is sleepy. So she could, depending on the running order, she could stand out actually. Russia, Romania's got the yodelers, Russia's a ballad. Russia's Hungary's ballad. excellent. Hungary's excellent. You know, there's... The what? Netherlands, those girls, I tell you what, harmonies, nobody does but it like them. What I'm trying to say is that drum and bass, there ain't no other drum and bass song in that section. It does not. There ain't no other. But drum and bass is also from a particular era. You know, yeah, it's 90s and that yes. decade didn't really catch fire. She's bringing it back! <laughs> She's bringing it back! Let us hope so. In any case, that's what we think. What do you think? Are you in deep with Tiana? Are you loving her song? Is this a 90s revival and how will it do at Eurovision? You can let us know here on Weeblogs.
and be sure to add your comments on the Wee Blogs app, which is available iOS and Android. Android. Yeah, yeah absolutely. You always struggle with that. I always <laughs> do. But you know what I don't struggle with are other platforms, which is Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest, Facebook, YouTube. Yeah, we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.